Hey everybody, it's FF Carpelp. Thank you for checking out this video. One of the many many reasons I use Mozilla Firefox is probably because of its add-ons functions. People can create add-ons and put it on its, their website and create many many good add-ons that can be used in the best ways that you can possibly imagine. Now, this video is going to be my, about my add-ons and how they help my, me in my daily basis. So, let's get started. Let's open a new Firefox window here. And here, uh, this is a, probably one of my add-ons, or one of my add-ons here. It's um, It makes my Google site, by default, in the black, and even the Google search. So let's just type in search here. And we'll see that it still contains this black thing. That's thanks to one of my add-ons. I'll be showing you all of them or all of them in a second and I'll get back to this but before that I would like to thank mobile phone 2003 for showing me many of these add-ons so let's go on tools and add-ons for you to see which ones I have okay so let's get started from the beginning adblock plus ads were yesterday ad adblock plus basically disables ads and actually disables anything on a site containing here so open block pull items and you have all the things that can be blocked a background, a script, image, frame, anything so this is just to show that this uh, you can put it as active here and it will by default disable many ads by Google AdSense or any other ad service you might use or see on a site this is pretty useful and it makes your internet speed a little faster because it uh, it doesn't really take the long long uh, waiting time for an ad to show up and then takes the rest of the site so it's a really useful add-on now let's open here AVG safe search that's just my uh, my AVG add-on better G reader hmm let's get up let's get back to that let's start off with this simple one download status bar this is really a nice thing so let's just go on YouTube for a second. This is basically a download manager, but in a place that can save much more space. So let's go on my videos here, and we'll go to download one of my videos. Uh, so where is it? Download MP4. Isn't there anything? Really? Uh, okay, it doesn't seem that I can download them anymore for some reason. So let's just go on uh, YouTube no sorry Mozilla.org and we're going to we're going to download Firefox and uh, we'll I'll show you how the download manager is this saves much more space and is connected to the main Firefox window but in a way that it takes not a, not much space at all. So here I can click download and you have here the downloads. You can download much more and you can see the time and speed right here. So as you can see it's going up and up and up and by hovering over it you can quickly see from anywhere and have met much more information than the usual download manager. Now what's really good about this is that um, you can just click it from there and if you want to see how your download is going you can just glance there instead of opening the download window so that's how it looks and as you can see there was a clear button as well over to the next add-on this program is installed correctly yes uh, flash block oh flash block this helps me so much you have to get used to this add-on this add-on basically blocks everything flash you have to say okay to it that means many ads including or actually the YouTube player, it blocks the YouTube player by default you can set it not to but let's just go to my channel here and uh, I'll show you how it helps me with this so let's start off, my video is on autoplay but with flashblock I can actually block it so that I don't have to load the video all the time and I don't have to pause it every single time so this actually is really, really useful to play, just click and it'll start playing now another thing that I really like is the fact that when I have to, um, I most I go to a lot of videos and in the related I right click and open link in a new tab. I do that really often. 
So when it constantly opens m many videos and I'm still watching one and I want to see the others afterwards, uh, they don't play automatically, which is actually really great for me. That's why I use Flashblock Plus. <laughs> Personas for Firefox. Personas. Personas is basically this image I have here and down here. By going this on this little icon, you can um, either upload your own image or go to most popular. We have Groovy Blue, which is the most popular one. And not only does it change the background scenery, but it also changes the bookmarks or bookmarks text and the file edit view as well. So as you can see, there are many different ones. And these are just the most popular ones. It can really change the whole scenery of your Firefox. I like the Firefox B because it isn't too dark, so if you're on a light page, it doesn't really affect it that much. I just like this one because the high resolution and everything else. Let's check out another add-on. Stylish. Stylish is what I use for my uh, my Google. I'll get onto that because it's a big thing. Twitter Fox. Twitter is really, really good because I don't really use TweetDeck anymore. I don't want to go to a separate um, application. But just clicking the little T here, I can see all of the many, many tweets that I have. Or not, no, not many, but I can see all of my tweets and I can resize it using this little thing up here. It's really, really a great add-on. I use this all the time. I use it primarily. And X marks. It's called X marks before or now, but before it was called something else. I don't really remember. Basically, it syncs your bookmarks. Um, so you, it uh, automatically, when you add a new bookmark, it syncs it to the server, and you will be able to um, to then when you format your computer, as I do pretty often, because it's on new versions of Windows 7, and I uh, I often get or not often, but sometimes I get viruses, and sometimes I just want to. Not format, but back up my computer using my Vista installation. I just put it in, delete everything I have on my computer except for all my documents. So I keep everything important. And no, why does this always happen? Then, um, yeah, it's really a good thing because then I don't have to add all the uh, bookmarks all the time and rename them as I do. As you can see, it goes YouTube. Normally, you say YouTube broadcast yourself and Twitter slash home. Or Google AdSense reports or whatever. So let's go over here again. Okay, now back to the better G Reader. Uh, I use Reader or Google Reader. <coughs> Excuse me. I use Google Reader every day just to read some of my feeds. Now my feeds in Google Reader was also introduced to me by Mobile Phone 2003. I can thank him for a lot of the stuff I have thanks to my add-ons. As you can see, these are in d different colors, and not only that, when I go to my own, my channel, for example, there's this RSS feed here. I can just click it, and it will automatically subscribe to Google uh, Reader. So as you can see here, they ha each feed has its own color. CNET has orange. Tech Radar also has orange, or another kind of orange. I know it's hard to see right here. Um, Download Squad has pink, and etc. etc. You can change that by going on Tools, Add ons, and Options. Yes, Options. And here you have Skin, Subscribing. You see, Auto Add to Read. That's the Smart Subscribe. Smart Subscribe is the RSS up in the corner. Now there is show feed, favicon, show unread. Uh, where is it? It also here it shows the favicon. It wouldn't normally, but now it does. So better G reader, basically a very good thing. Stylish, stylish is what I used for my little Google thing. So let's go on Google.co.uk. Because I do not go on Google.com, because then it will automatically revert to wherever I come from. I'm not trying. Well, yeah, it will automatically convert to another language, and I would prefer to keep it in English. So let's go on Stylish, and uh, here it says Google Web Search, dark gray theme, and gray logo replacement. That's Manage Styles or Find Styles for this site you click. It will open up a new tab and you'll come to a link automatically where it says for this. So the theme I have is dark gray theme that makes all the things black. And without that, this would be the usual Google colors. 
but thanks to the Google Web Search gray logo replacement, I have uh, uh, the Google uh, the sign in gray. I really like it. Now to install it, it's pretty re it's really really simple actually. You just go on yeah here you see how it would look and here's how it would look without the gray logo. I actually have a hard time deciding, but I'm going to find out sometime. Alright, so update install version in stylish. That's for me. Load as user script, or well, let's take one I don't have. This one. Install to stylish. Very simple. And just restart, I think. I don't remember, but you should probably just restart and it'll go away. So, this was basically my Firefox add ons. What are yours? Post a video response if you'd like to show, show me your add ons. So, uh, for, um, maybe it can help me actually. I hope this, this video certainly helped you. And if you're one of those Internet Explorer users, try Firefox. It's faster, and these add ons actually help you really much by not only making it cooler with stylish, making it easier with better G Reader, saving a lot of space with. Uh, uh, what was it called? Status bar, something. I'll, I'll post the names of it in the description. Whatever you want to block ads and block flash videos for it because you're a partner or because you constantly open new tabs, with, uh, then Flashbot can help you. So, yeah, I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Have a nice day.